your, your choice for starter for game two? It's probably going to be Denji Reyes. We're going to see how the first game goes, but Denji's our 27th man, and uh, more than likely he'll start the second game. How good is it to see, uh, how good is it to see uh, Cody up here after a pretty long journey from first-round pick to some injuries and everything like that? Yeah, no, I'm happy to give him the opportunity when I talked to him this morning. He had a big smile on his face, so it was good to see him, and, and uh, what a great place to make your debut. Um, what a cool environment, so happy for him and his family. Um, uh, move on the active roster and a 40 man move. That together. still hasn't happened yet, so it's um, they're, they're processing that right now. So nothing to announce at this point. What do you think this story says? He's been through so many injuries, so so much adversity, and to get a shot here, what does it say about him? Yeah, I, I, you know he's uh, you know a former high round pick that uh, had a ton of adversity along the way, and you know shows you what kind of guy he is to be able to stick stick with it and. Um, you know, continue his career, and now he's reached his goal of, of being in the big league. So um, I know there's a uh, it's a great day for him. Uh, you know, happy for him, and it, it's a great story. And and hopefully he can pitch well for us. Thinking back to, to last night with Bradish, is that just the kind of start that can happen to a, a young pitcher against a lineup he's seen twice in the last two weeks or so? Can happen to any pitcher against these guys. I just saw it happen to Dallas Keuchel, who won a Cy Young. Um, you know, a couple of days ago. So, listen, this is a really good lineup, and it's a tough environment to pitch, and they're the hottest hitting team in baseball right now. And he just didn't have very good command yesterday. Um, against these guys, you have to be able to throw multiple pitches for strikes, be super unpredictable. He's got that's for me. It's top three middle of the orders in the in the game, and and now that their now their lineup is stretched out with Verdugo swinging the bat the way he is, and. Kike at the top. Uh, it's just a really tough lineup to pitch to, and he just didn't have his best stuff yesterday. So hopefully he can bounce back from that and and uh, make a good start his next time out. Is it really comforting, especially now with a doubleheader having Jordan going in game one because he's a guy who has been able to give you length, and you have to be obviously careful with the bullpen with two games here. Yeah, we're hoping that you know Jordan can go for a while and help us out a little bit bullpen wise, and um, I know he's got every intention to do that. So, uh, yeah, I think Jordan. It's the, the day that Jordan pitches, you, you can, you're hoping that that the bullpen, some of the bullpen guys can relax a little bit. Uh, this is a tough day. Uh, there's 18 innings of that we got to pitch, and and um, really happy with some of our, the way our guys threw last night. That picked us up. Solcer, that was a huge three innings for us. Deplon pitched great. So those guys really won us the game by by keeping us. Not having to use more bullpen guys yesterday, kind of keeping us the score uh, close to where it was, and and uh, hopefully set us up for today where we have most of our bullpen guys ready to go.